I'm Jennifer Angel. This is your Star Scorpio for January and a Happy New Year to you. Seems to come around quickly, doesn't it? Well, let's have a look at your month ahead. So you have Mercury in your third house. Great position for Mercury. Mercury is all to do with communication and one of the houses it's rule. Rules is the third house. Now you also have a new moon this uh, month is in your 11th house so that's all to do with um, friends and meeting people and getting together with groups. Mercury's all to do with communication so this month you can really get your point across and clearly and be heard so it's like you can speak and be heard so um, if you need to you know, impart a level of knowledge to some people, then certainly plan it out and go in with certainty and confidence because it's a good, it's a good time to get your point across, as I said. Now, career and money. Tenth house is all to do with your career and business and your purpose in life um, and how you can make a difference through your business. So the full moon is in this area on the 27th of the month. Okay, now there are some aspects between Mars and Saturn and Mars and Uranus this month as well. So with the full moon plus these aspects, it's like pretty heavy duty changes that can happen around your career. Now Uranus is really, um, can be sudden changes. So things that you hadn't planned for. Uh, Mars, it can be sort of rash as well um, and Saturn, uh, it can it can mean that the changes that come out of the balloon that are made this month can actually it's be like almost like re pushing the reset button and can be around for a while. So although um, some of these aspects can be somewhat confronting, um, what comes out of them can be empowering, okay? So sometimes you just have to go through the changes to be able to get to the other end and that's what's likely to happen this month all around your career, so stay tuned for that. Now, love and romance. So Venus is in your second house. Now, this is a very financial area. Um, Venus second house is one of the areas in the... Um, one of the houses that it rules so it's comfortable in this position. Now for you it can mean that your money management is up for review. So uh, a good month to have communication with people and to reset if you've got a financial arrangement going um, with a partner or someone close to you then speak your mind and speak it from your heart and it's an opportunity that you can just Re, uh, reset your arrangements in some way so it's more suitable as you move forward, okay? Now my angel advice for this month is that uh, as always there's supportive and challenging aspects happening so try not to um, pass any judgment until the dust settles. You want to get all the pieces in place, do some of your own research before you pass any judgments about anything, okay Scorpio? Have a great month. Don't forget to go and have a look at your 2013 report. Um, it, it's on video. If you missed it in the New York Daily News, then it's on the website, on the Jennifer Angel pages on newyorkdailynews.com. Thanks for watching. Love and luck to you. I'm Jennifer Angel. See you next month.